Hi, how are you? My name is Sean Landano, and I am the owner of EcoFit Nutrition in Lincoln, Rhode Island. The reason I'm making this video is just to clear up any misconceptions about creatine and also to inform anybody who hasn't taken it on how to take it and what it is. Uh, before I get started on talking about the creatine, just wanted to mention EcoFit real quick. Um, at EcoFit, we try to get as much information as possible about every ingredient. We study endlessly, and we know that every athlete is different and you can't give every athlete the same product. And that's what we strive on, is knowing that everybody's built differently and everybody needs a different kind of supplement at a different time. Now, straight back to creatine. Creatine is a very, very good supplement. Uh, it's one of the top supplements on a list of important priority supplements. I would say they'd fall under number four, um, while multivitamin would come under number one, fish oil would be number two, and then protein would be number three. Uh, Creatine is a supplement that is found in fish, poultry, and meat. Uh, it's formed by three amino acids, arginine, methionine, and glycine. Now, creatine is studied, has been studied very often. As far as uh, the kind of gains you would see on creatine, usually people will see 10 to 50% increases in strength. Um, their short bouts of strength are increased, their explosiveness, and their ability to do more repetitions is also increased. Um, what creatine does is it floods the muscles with water and that way you get all the nutrients throughout your muscles and your skeletal muscles holds the most creatine, it holds about 90% of the creatine and uh, then it's transferred to your muscles to produce more ATP which is going to give you more energy. Um, every cell in your body uses ATP. ATP is adenine triphosphate. Um, now as far as uh, usage of creatine monohydrate or any kind of creatine. Creatine monohydrate is the first creatine that comes to mind when you think of creatine. Um, this is an example of a creatine monohydrate. Creatine monohydrate is the simplest form of creatine. It's very good for um, bulking. It's also very good for power lifting, any kind of extreme gains that you're trying to make, um, whether it be temporary or, or long term. Uh, I do like creatine monohydrate much more than some other creatines. Now, there's other creatines like uh, creocaline and creatine ethyl ester. Those have been studied a lot less than creatine monohydrate, and it's very hard to say that those are comparable or better, which they claim to be very, very often. Uh, creatine monohydrate is just the safest bet every time. It works. People know it works. The reason I'm showing you the Optimum Nutrition creatine is because this is my favorite company. Um, as far as creatine monohydrate goes, they use Creapier, which is made in Germany. Uh, this is the purest form of creatine. It's not like the stuff that's made in China, which does not end up being as good as this one. Now, how you would take this creatine monohydrate? Uh, creatine is best absorbed with carbohydrates, so you'd want to take a dextrose sugar or any kind of uh, maybe grape or apple. You wouldn't um, want to take it without that. You wouldn't want to drink it in water. It's too hard to drink in water, and you won't have the same benefits. You want something that's going to boost your insulin response and help you carry that creatine straight to your skeletal muscle so that it can then be transferred to ATP during your workout or your powerlifting, um, whatever you do. Um, now as far as how you would load it, the first three days you would want to do 20 grams of creatine uh, just to get it flooded in your skeletal muscles and then after that you would want to do 10 grams. Uh, I'd say try that for about eight weeks. When you're done with the eight weeks, come off of the creatine monohydrate, take a week or two off. Um, some people take up to a month off and then get back on. Um, creatine is not bad over time, especially if you're not overloading. The first three days that you overload, um, some people have complained about kidney problems. It's kind of a up or down, but there's never been any recorded uh, problems in the medical books as far as creatine uh, hurting somebody to the point of maybe death or serious illness. Um, now if you don't want to take a creatine monohydrate because they have, uh, other companies make like a creatine um, powder that basically gives you the carbohydrates, the protein, the insulin mimickers, all in one. This way you don't have to go out of your way and get the grape juice and get any carbohydrates, you can just do it yourself. Um, as far as companies that do that, it's almost every company has one out. Uh, one of the more popular, well-known ones is Gaspari Saison. Now as far as Gaspari Saison goes, it's a very good product. 180 calories, 39 grams of carbs, 7 grams of protein. Those seven grams of protein come from branched chain amino acids. It has three different creatines in it, insulin mimickers inside of it, 
Um, it's just, it's an amazing product. Uh, most people who take it experience great results. A lot of people stack it with the Super Pump 250 and they have just tremendous, tremendous results. This does come with 24 servings, um, so it will last you a month. Not the entire 30 days of the month, but it definitely will last you a month. Um, Price-wise, uh, you can't beat the price. I mean, as far as our price goes, it's $45.99 right now. It's on sale. Um, but, I mean, that is subject to change. It's just a sale we're doing right now. Um, definitely a great product. I would, I would definitely recommend Sizon to anyone who's looking for an all-in-one creatine product. Um, and as far as pre-alkaline and creatine ethyl ester, I don't, I don't really recommend jumping into them too much. Crealkaline, if anything, more than creatine ethyl ester. The crealkaline is just a pH balanced creatine as opposed to the creatine ethyl ester, which has actually been studied and proven that uh, it was not absorbed as well as creatine monohydrate. Um, but the crealkaline has not been proven to not be absorbed as well as creatine monohydrate, but it also has not been proven to be any better. Um, well, I hope you got as much information as you needed. If you have any questions, you can email me at ecofitllc at gmail.com. Uh, and if you live in the area, you can call us at 401-305-5808. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you have a great day.